Hello, Froggy here, and today we'll be exploring Monastery in Riven's Lair. This is the last of the three zones we have to explore, so it might be my last video on the area, unless we find some more cool stuff of course. So I'm using the same first week mission that I've kept just for such an occasion. You don't need to use this one. Riven Slayer works as well. You can have your light low to keep yourself from matching with anyone who isn't up to shenanigans. Just getting out the same way we generally do there, but if you consult my other videos on this area, you can get out along pretty much any route the game gives you. We've got no sparrows until we head back into Monastery here, which is also called First Steps. I haven't figured out any way to get inside of the Chamber of Wishes, the room you'd get at the end of a Platinum Run of Coil, but we can get a look inside. You just want to land a sparrow upside down and then die with no ground underneath you and your ghost should be upside down in the room. I haven't checked all the fallback points so maybe there's a way to get in here but this view is good enough for me for now. Anyways, let's get going. So we're heading over to the normal monastery load. Although, of course, we've already hit it. That's pretty unique in that uh, I wasn't able to hit the load in the other... Oh, hey, chess pieces. I wasn't able to hit the load in the other direction on the monastery load or the cosmic load, but... For some reason, you can with Garden. I don't know if it just doesn't stick out of map or what, but... It is convenient because it means you can ride sparrows right away if you have a Garden as the active zone. Got 2B Combat 1. Oh, there we go. 2A Combat. So the unfortunate thing about Monastery is I was pretty much unable to break into pretty much any of these rooms with very few exceptions. They all sort of are inside solid boxes. I was hoping I'd be able to get some sort of res breach going here, but... I haven't managed to get any luck. Like, this staircase kind of looked like a reasonable candidate, but I haven't managed to get that working yet. Do let me know if you find a way to get into any of the two combat series rooms. They are pretty difficult. Also, there are kill barriers underneath all of them, so be a bit careful or you'll run into those. It is so convenient to have sparrows. Before we head to the second room, there's a interesting thing that can happen with this crystally sort of texture if one of the layers is missing. It is rather trippy. Hard to even tell you're moving if you don't have any uh, other references. With the distortion layer on top, it looks quite nice, but... On a flat plane like that with no 
sort of parallax. It's very odd. There's a another area where there's a floor kind of like that somewhere around here. I went through a whole lot of this area trying to find some place that maybe I could sparrow breach down into uh, the room, but I don't have much luck. But then again, I'm also not the best at finding sparrow breaches, so maybe one of you will have better luck. I think I'm getting close to it. hidden away in one of these cubbies. Oh no, I'm just kind of going in circles. Or No, I think I actually just... Yep, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, that is just bizarre. Well, with that out of the way, let's head over to 2B Combat. We'll get to those rooms later. This one is even squarer, so... If I had pretty much zero hope going into it, I would be able to break in. There's always a chance there'll be something on a seam, but... At least from my investigation so far, this one seems pretty rock solid. There were these little staircases that kind of poke out underneath that I was hoping we'd be able to get some sort of a res breach on, but... I haven't managed to get that to work either. I think maybe the sort of thick crystal walls here are just not very conducive to res breaching in general. Something like this seemed like it would be a fairly ideal spot, but sadly here it didn't even try to res me. In different parts of the stairs I was able to, but it just pushed me out just the same. We have this kind of water hanging out. Can sometimes be funky with sparrows, but that water looks pretty normal. <laughs> Bonus statue. You can peer in through these window acting sections here, but wasn't able to find any way to poke through. I guess you can't look through that one well. Too much culling going on. In the past, we've sometimes had holes around doors like this, but... Not seeing anything this time around. Alas. We can head over to the much more interesting 2A boss. Although... I don't think there's a 2B boss room? I don't know. Anyways, this one has some nice intangible surfaces. It's kind of a copy of a part of the Confluence, which has a similar intangible patch in the ceiling. One of those classic Henry holes. Should be right about... Yep, there we go. This is the boss room where there'd be the kind of puddles of light you have to occasionally stand into. Next to, say, an ogre, which does not particularly want you to be standing next to them. Let's see if we can get back out without relying on a grapple. Should be pretty possible. And I guess you can't stand on top of that one. 
Wait a minute. Is that a different hole up here? Looks like it, but probably need a crouched hitbox to get through there if you can at all. Maybe code of the missile or stasis crystals. Anyways, we'll have to take a look at that from the other side. Maybe the rocks on the left are flatter. Yeah, there we go. And right up to here. And this top ridge. Now it's pretty much exactly like the confluence. Let's see if we can find the other side of that little hole we spotted a moment ago. I think it's right around here. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like that goes all the way through. Maybe I have to try that later with the stasis nade. Since we weren't able to make much progress on those rooms, let's go check out the other two rooms. These are common to all the zones, and there's this weird trap room storage underneath. I imagine at some point things pop into place around here. Hopefully they aren't invisible and intangible when they do that, but if I make another video on Riven's Lair, it will probably be if we manage to figure out how to get this area to do interesting things. I'm not sure what all of the labels refer to. For instance, I'm not sure what the red and blue rooms are. They do seem to have quite a few sides. Got a nice little dev box here. Like, wow, all the way up to side D. Geode is a bit more clear because we've got the... What is it? Splinter Geode? Shattered Geode? I'll be reminded whenever we go up to it. More chess pieces. They're all over the place here. And yeah, we've got the four sides there. And the geode room label. Splinter geode. So the two sort of in between spaces, the uh, splinter geode and fetid conduit, house the I guess three sorts of puzzles you go through, where you have to activate the plates and avoid the traps. You've got your spikes, your wells with the uh, darkness with the wells of light you have to stand on, and the poison rooms, which will see more clearly once I had a better angle to view that text. There are six of these in total. The three in Splinter Geode and the other three in Fetid Conduit. And of these six rooms, I've only managed to break into one of them. Not a great track record, but I guess it leaves stuff for... Wait. What is... The cutest little floor over here. That's adorable. It's so small. No, oh, well, anyways. That leaves more stuff for you guys to try to break into, I guess. Right here is the way in I managed to find for the splinter geode spikes. Let's you run all around in here. You can see one of the chests if you have the right ghost mod on, but it's only the trap chest. You can see 
one of the other rooms through here. I was hoping that access to a sparrow would let us go through that grate, but I haven't managed to get that working. Might be possible, but, you know, maybe give it a try and see if you can pull something off there. I haven't really tried blinking for any of these small gaps I've found. So, this trap is active. I don't see the spikes anywhere. I presume they're in storage, but who knows? Well, let's go over to the other area. It still is quite strange to me that we have these three zones overlapping so much. I wonder what combinations are possible. There's enough of these rooms that there may just be one transition for each sort of path that you'd have. But it would be nice if, uh, any one of the connectors could be used between any one of the room sets. Always a good idea to check near structures that had holes in other areas, but... Doesn't look like we've got anything here. There are a few areas around that look like they might potentially be sparrow breaches, but... Those tend to work better when you have terrain type ground underneath you instead of this rocky stuff. Those kind of wavy flat sheets just seem a lot easier to push your way through. <laughs> I've got the flat area on top and... Hmm. This grassy spot seems like a good enough area to end the video. Let me know if you're able to get any further into these places. And until then, I've got some coils to run.